Hey guys, what's up? So what is Star Citizen and also what is the best card we can use to play this game and get the most out of it? So basically, Star Citizen is this game where you can do whatever you want in space. You know, it's that game that we all wished for when we were playing Nintendo 64. You know, when you were with your friends and then you talked about, you know, flying into space, docking into a space station, and then finding out that an alien like killed everybody, you know, that's, that's basically Star Citizen. And it's really, really crazy. It's really crazy. It looks amazing. And there's an animation for almost every single little thing in the game. You know, it's not just like Battlefield where you press square and you're already in the helicopter or tank. No, you have to get in there, you know, get out. It's crazy. And it's an amazing game as far as graphics. Now, there are a lot of other things that go into the game, of course. You know, it's not just this that I told you. It's it's crazy. There's a lot of other crazy things you can do in it. However, I mean, it is going to be a very heavy graphics, you know, uh, game. So for this, you need a very, very good graphics card. And uh, basically what it comes out to is either you have an NVIDIA or you have an AMD. And the best way to explain both of these cards, you know, in, in the shortest way possible is using a metaphor. And that is NVIDIA is more like a Ferrari. You know, it's just, uh, it's downright just, you know, it's got good power. It, it may be a little pricey, but you get top, you know, type of materials. And what AMD would be, it would be more of a Corvette. You know, a Corvette is fast. It's got the power. It's brutal. It's barbaric, but it gets the job done and it's cheaper, you know, and it's made out of plastic. It's made out of cheaper things, but it, it's worth it. I mean, if you're on a budget, you'd more than likely go for a Corvette and you can still get the same amount of power that you would out of a uh, uh, out of a ferrari so i mean that's the best way to explain it now star citizen is going to support mantle and what mantle is it's actually an amd api that makes it easier to optimize uh game coding you know and and it's going to be very similar to that of console gaming so xbox and ps4s you know there's a reason why ps4s you know they may cost less and and look better than than a pc that would be equivalent to it because of that same coding and this is what amd is bringing to the table you know, an AMD is cheaper, so more than likely, you know, you would want to get an AMD if you want to get the most out of uh, what would be, you know, Star Citizen. But what about NVIDIA? Um, I mean, again, it's it's a good card. It's just a little pricey. And, you know, if, if that's all you want to do, if you're like me and all you want to do is play Star Citizen, you know, I mean, sure, you can also play other games, but you can get the most out of Star Citizen with an AMD card. And it's uh, it, it's good for the price. You know, it's good for the money. And then the optimization is going to make the gap in between NVIDIA and AMD bigger just for that game. I mean, NVIDIA, you know, like I said, I, I, I would rather get an NVIDIA card. But I mean, I just don't want to dish out like an extra 200 bucks for a car that would perform about the same. So, but that, you can get a card for AMD cheaper and then that, that uh, optimization, it's going to make the gap even bigger for AMD and NVIDIA for Star Citizen. So, and I am not a fanboy at all. And you know, when people say this card is better than that, you know, or yada, yada, it kind of bothers me. I mean, if it was really true that AMD, you know, was cheap and it sucked or NVIDIA was greedy, you know, and their cards weren't good at all, they were like, you know, overpricing it, then, you know, either company wouldn't exist, you know, if that was true, because I mean, companies like that don't really last a lot in a market like this. And I mean, you know, it's good that they're competing against each other because they, they have to one up each other and competition is good. Because if there wasn't either one, you know, the same thing that happened with the Chevy Camaro and the Mustang would happen again. And I don't know if you guys remember the Camaro was only made up until until the year 2002 and then the Mustang had you know about seven years to just kind of hold back on technology and their Mustang had you know only 300 horsepower for those seven years the V8 Mustang only 300 horsepower for those seven years because Camaro just wasn't competing anymore and then what happened was Camaro came back they made it again and it had 413 horsepower and the Mustang, you know, that same year still had 300 horsepower because they got caught off guard. And it's just, you know, it's it's companies being greedy and just holding back on the consumer. So, you know, that's why it's good, you know, that these companies compete against each other. And I mean, if you guys want to battle it out and say that one is better than the other and be a fanboy, I mean, you know, you guys go ahead and do that. But, you know, I'm not into that. So. So I'm just going to keep it short for you guys. You know, if you've been eyeballing uh, Star Citizen, then. You know, an AMD card is just right for you. And for those of you guys that have an NVIDIA card, you're fine just the way you are. You know, don't worry about it. But uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe. If you want me to talk about other things, play this game, play that game, let me know and I'll get you guys set. You know, um, I'm open to anything except the lemon party.